one. Hi guys, we're the 732 Review Crew. I'm Joe. I'm Mike. And I'm Mikey. Today we were watching season four, episode five of The Expanse, titled Oppressor. Oh, I wonder who the oppressor is. is Space it Dragon. There's like a lot of oppressors to yeah, Is it James Holden? Is it's, it the bell being oppressed by everybody else? If James Holden. James Holden? Yeah, what? <laughs> Because he's oppressing uh, the space. No, he's he's oppressing the space dragon. He's right. oppressing the oppressor. <laughs> that <laughs> oppressive bastard. Did you just curse in the first five seconds of the video? Wait, are we not allowed to? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> that's, that's um, well, thank you guys for joining us as usual. Last episode was kind of crazy considering Murphy went straight crazy. And then got punched. Murtry. No, I'm saying his name wrong on purpose. Morty. Because that's the same thing that Miller, um, so Amos does, not Miller. Yeah. Amos says his wrong, name wrong every single time on purpose. I forget, you want to be Amos. We all do. <laughs> we all want to be that guy. But Amos, <laughs> Amos doesn't get Officer Ola, Mikey. You don't know that. You don't know that at all. He's from, <laughs> he's from Earth, technically. But um, without further ado, since we're going a little bit antsy right here to start this next episode and find out what's happening. And it, it seems like we're going to be uh, talking a lot more at the end with the new uh, Yeah, we'll board jump right into idea. this. So let's see what's happening in this episode. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy our reactions to The Expanse. Hope you enjoy our discussions to The Expanse. And we hope to see you next time in the next episode. Make sure you like the video if you haven't. Subscribe already if you haven't. And comment. Otherwise, let's start this one in three, two, one. Boop, boop, boop. Where... Oh, it's pa it's flashback. You said that remote even working? I wired it myself. It will work. Wow. Oh, she's gonna put it on there. Those aren't pipe bombs. Those are like official. No, leave it. We have to remove the charge. The drive will set it off. Then it does. At least blow it now before they land. Give them a chance to pull up. Oh. Uh, fucking you know that. This isn't what we plan. I did not come here to kill people. The plan is what I say it is. Yikes. Whatever happened there for? No! Oh, oh. they're out. Damn. Well, they were all in bar. Well, we were wrong. What? Huh. So she saved some of them. By blowing it up early? Yeah. yeah. I made everything more difficult by doing that. I guess this means we may have. It's kind of crazy well, to see how enough. good of a doctor Alex has become. <laughs> yeah, because he's been dealing with so many wounded. <laughs> he's also got an auto doc. My family, my tree said we haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, then there was this place on Titan. You know, I used to go there when I was in training. <laughs> they had this grilled corn with garlic <laughs> butter, you know? I do not. Yeah, garlic <laughs> I do they not. Had these sides, these green sides. That guy talks a lot. Mason's <laughs> an idiot. You know, in a different context, this could be kind of fun. <laughs> Come on. Don't be mad. <laughs> sure hey. This will mean, then we'll talk about it. Don't be an asshole. I saved your life out there. You're so fucking weird. <laughs> in here. Shit. Settlements in lockdown. No one outside their quarters unless Chief Murtry says so. I don't give a fuck what Murtry said. Where's my crewman? Module 7. <laughs> He's the envoy, man. Sir, we have a situation. I'm well aware. <laughs> fuck that. Captain Holden, you left before we could finish our talk. Cut him loose. Do it now. We don't have time for your vendetta. We need to get everyone off the surface before something even worse shows up. You're saying we need to evacuate? Yes, immediately. <laughs> Unlock him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He'll only help as long as evacuating the Belchers is easier than shooting them. I oh, know. You people act like I'm the bad guy here. I came on a peaceful mission. These squatters drew first blood. You and your friend here assault me and my people, but I'm the bad guy. Maybe I've just got that kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm does. Not sure, you had to tell your story in court at a murder trial. One way or another, we all answer for what we've done. He's such a good character. Yeah. Both light shuttles in working order. Yes, sir. Take the secondary one. 
Disable the safeties, rig it up for remote piloting, and put it on a proximity trigger. You want me to make it into a bomb? I want you to make it into an option. Oh shit, yikes. <laughs> James Holden and a bunch of Beltairs are fucking up our first <laughs> exploration of an alien world. But yes, let's talk about the grain ship. The caring family matriarch attested. Get the fuck out! <laughs> They're trying to help. Get the caring fuck out right now! Matriarch. The caring family ma Get the it's fuck out! <laughs> debate. They just want you to play the game. Was my daughter with her? I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. Who the hell's here? She went to college. <laughs> The next thing could be a lot worse, and there will be a next thing. You have no way of knowing that. He actually does. You need to get everyone. <laughs> right now. For Jesus. I don't know if you're using Murtry or he's using you. But if we leave, they'll never let us come back. You go if you want to. Oh. Um, not supposed to be there in the first place. No, but. The islands, for all that weird lightning in it up, have started putting off heat like a super volcano. On a planet with no volcanoes. So it's like the heat vent. It's a heat sink for fucking the factory underneath. Does it seem strange to you that these things have lasted millions, maybe billions of years, and we can break them with torpedoes? Maybe they wore out and got brittle. I had a, uh, a refrigerator in college I left off over holiday, and when I turned it back on, it caught fire. I understand you saw the thing that Holden destroyed. I did. I told him not to. It's fine. I want to hear about this alien technology. Yikes. I think she missed uh, Zero G's. not being on a planet. Oh, she strapped in like um, they talked about it's the reason why Anna didn't die. Tell me she's somewhere safe. That she's not with you. What? Who? Felsia. Our daughter. Tell me you know where she is. Jacob, I don't. Maybe she here when the shooting started. I'm sure she. I have been every place. Why is he? She's not here. Oh, was missing. When he was telling me to surrender, he talked about you. And her. It's true then. What they're saying about you and Coop, Scotty, the others. Well, he didn't know. You were part of that. How could you be so stupid? I wasn't stupid. I did it for us. I wasn't strong enough. Because I didn't want to bring the killing to this planet like Coop and his OPA dog. Stop. So you don't get to tell me when to stop. You ran away. Now they're going to round us up like cattle and take us away. We have nothing. Not even our family. Yeah. We have nowhere else to go. You have to fight. If we did all that and it doesn't even matter, you have to stay. All these terrible things you've done. They didn't save us. All they did was destroy the only thing we had left. Yikes. Family. I said that to his wife. And his wife did try to blow up a spaceship, which caused a bunch of her friends to get killed. And she got blood come out of her mouth. I've been. Just wound. touched her mouth. The wound. Oh, Jesus Christ. She opened up. Glowing? Yeah, I think it's like a monitor or something. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, why? To show like, hey, you're fucking bleeding out. Get to the auto dock and page Alex. I need gravity, though. She's in low gravity. Right? Got the boots on. Yeah. Is she going to let herself die? She's kill herself? She might not have been able to. Do anything? Those are like full battle rifles. It doesn't even make sense to be using for like in a settlement. Yeah, it does. No, you want short barrels, not long barrels. But super soakers. What do you want? Oh! Ambush! Hey. You seem angry. At me? He's making her leave, right? That's why. Oh, she's mad after talking to Murcher, so what's what's happening here? 
He also hid it. He, he won't tell her anything. I've been going through everything that happened. The bugs that showed up exactly when you did. The lightning and the way you happened to be exactly where the lightning started. None of this happened until you showed up. <laughs> it's his about fault. It, you deflect. Base Jesus? Yes, exactly like that. Well? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoa! Let them go right now! Fuck these assholes! Just shoot them! The one you do that, the she want you to see the inside of his head. Hey, Moss. What are you gonna do, buddy? Our people have been locked in dead quarters by corporate soldiers. They have been executed without trial. And now we are being ordered to evacuate. We won't stop anyone else from leaving. They can go in peace. But we will not be forced from our homes again. Is this just us? Or is she broadcasting this? I don't see why she wouldn't. Chances are tomorrow will be all over the news feeds back home. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what just what the belt needed to bounce back into a war. But I am going to gas every belcher in the camp. Anyone I find with a gun is going to be disarmed and restrained. And the rest will be kept stated until they can be taken up to their ship and sent on their way. I would ask if you have any objection, but I honestly Woo! don't give a fuck now. Yeah, look how high those walls are. Yeah, I actually like how they show how much the water is raising. Yeah. I, I, I love that it, subtle details like that. And I think the real danger of Eros is that we only react to it from fear. What we need now is leadership that can embrace the possibilities while managing the risks. That's not even an answer. Yeah, that's a politics answer, baby. Bullshit. You ask how I would protect Earth from another Eris incident? I do the same thing I did the first time. The same way yeah. I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, I think she got flying. <laughs> Matri has no right making them leave, and neither do you. If they die here, it's on me. They're not children. Yeah. Now she's being rational as hell. No way. Tell them the truth and let them decide for themselves. You know, I used to be the one saying things like that. Yeah, she, it was a very clarifying moment for Naomi. It's for a growth time. point. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we're proud of Naomi. Meanwhile, she's not really like, the belt can do no wrong. <laughs> Yikes. Naomi! She's got no more blood left in her. She shut it down. Gave up on life. She popped the bleeder in there. What does that mean, popped the bleeder? Maybe she got internal like, bleeder? Because they're in zero G. Yeah, that's what it looks like. See? A uh, bubble. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh god. Okay. Oh. God damn. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking for in here. This hot ice. I mean, it's full oh. of blood. I can't see anything. Oh. Can't they suck it out? I need your help, okay? I've never done this before. But do not make me tell your daughter I had to let you die. Fucking tell me what to do! Yeah. Yeah, I bet that sucks. Listen, the infusion's working, you just gotta stop the bleeding. Now. I can do this. Oh, don't, don't have to. Come on. She wants to die. You're too low. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see like poetry. Too low, too low. <laughs> there it is. And it's cauterizing a laser. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> it sounds like he's doing a lot. Hey. Give what better way to see. It just blinks <laughs> when he's done with surgery. Auto duck, bro. Auto duck. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So much for laparoscopic, though. That's stressful. Oh, yeah, yeah, you. Can't even die tonight. If Mercury orders you to go in, don't go. Comes to that, I guarantee they'll bleed more than we do. If you say so. <laughs> I'm not gassing anybody on Mercury's orders. I just don't want to see you get shot over this. Oh. I'm unarmed. 
Oh shit. <laughs> What's he doing? Me and him. <laughs> <laughs> I am Space Jesus. Listen to my gospel. Or policy so well made that a culture of shortcuts, preferential treatment, and corruption. <laughs> We're about to the answer, it. aren't we? <laughs> it has been well documented at this point that my opponent exploited political connections to jump the line and take this <laughs> that would have gone to someone with fewer friends in high places. What's the issue? She's doesn't... smiling too much. It's a little strange to have a member of the political aristocracy lecture me about connections. <laughs> Tonight, it's the first time she's ever interviewed for a job. My parents had friends who helped me get a lottery placement. George. Uh -huh. stand up, please. Yikes. George Cantor was my first alternate. When I got my appointment at the regional government, I hired George to work with my policy research team. He now runs it. My second alternate was a woman named uh, Lee Fan. She yikes. became my top security consultant. 6,000 people fight for one slot, and we say anyone can make it. We all know the system's broken. We all just want a chance. We aren't afraid to work hard. We aren't afraid to take risks. And with 1,300 new solar systems, we can provide that opportunity for everyone, not just the colonists. And what we need what we deserve is a government that gives us a chance. Security alert, ma'am. We Please need to come with us right away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Can you not see where I am? We have a security situation. Shit. What happened? I want to take up the other candidate as well. <laughs> they don't care about her. She's not the acting president of the world, you know? You brushed me off the surface of the planet, so obviously you're treating this like an attack. What's the threat assessment? The ship's drive is a fusion bomb, and it's targeting our early warning system. This is the sign-off. We are experiencing a minor failure in our computer system. It has affected our comms and drive controls. We are working to correct it. We have children on board. The drive signature on record also matches a colony ship called the Sojourner. Oh, the one they chopped up! The was lost to yeah, <sighs> Kill it. Destroy the ship immediately. Oh no, it definitely has children on board. What'd I say? It's from the belt, isn't Marco it? Marco is gonna become a big problem. Well, that, that, <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get but to that. But why would she say to kill it immediately? Because she thinks it's gonna... It's gonna impact its weapon. Because it's shady. Supporting colony ships instead of stranding them out where they're easy prey for piracy. Yikes. She's way up in the poles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna go visit these heat sink islands? Like, uh, it's been two episodes. One episode, bro. Gotta let the let it build. Let bro. it cook. I think it is cooking. Just wait until the, the end of this episode where you're like, "Can we please watch another?" And we're like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> the torment. I didn't deserve to be saved. Serving isn't really the end. I was young and in love with a boy who had a crazy plan. Oh, what's the Marco story about the ship? Attack reactor control program. Then we could turn off the drive, leave them on the drift, rescue them for a price later. And it wouldn't look like piracy because they'd be so grateful that we saved them. The first one we tried was the Augustine Gamora. We blew it up instead. It was the one that blew up in the docks at Luna. Yikes. Because the man I loved, the father of my child, used my coat to overload the reactor. We killed 516 people. It wasn't your doing then. You were tricked. You built the code. I chose not to see what kind of man my lover was until it was too late. And when I told him I'd never help him again, it was the last time he let me see my little boy. I almost walked out an airlock. Being dead seemed better. I have a family now. Certainly not one I would have expected. Oh. But I love them. Oh. And they love me. There is a path. 
from where you are to where I am. All we did was buy you a little time. You decide what you want to do with it. As soon as the gate opened, I started being contacted by a man I knew who died on Eros. The proto-molecule was somehow projecting him into my brain. How? How does it work? I don't know how any of it works. What does this ghost want from you? In your head that no one else can see told you that. <laughs> I had a vision when I was inside the ring station. Oh, the ghost didn't tell you, but the vision did. I can see why you didn't tell anyone. Is there any way to test this information? No, it's not quantifiable at all. That's <laughs> yeah, been right about everything so far. <laughs> that thing in his head is giving him answers. Oh, he's just a crazy person with a few lucky guesses. <laughs> Space Jesus. Is there any way we can use that to control him? I he didn't want to use it to control him. Tames the space dragons. This place is our only hope. Because it's full of rich resources? Yeah. Let's go someplace with food and water. There is no version of this where we abandon our charter and we leave these squatters and murderers in possession of this planet. Why can't they just split the planet? That's the whole point. It's <laughs> like, let me tell the truth, that always works. And they're all like, you're fucking crazy, dude. Shut up. <laughs> There's no way to We're here for money, okay? <laughs> we don't have time for profits. We have an alley. There's blood on him. He's like, what's that? And it's always wearing his beats, you know? That's the... The island, right? Island! Is it a nuke? He's gonna see a face of Miller in the, the, the light. Oh my god. What is it? It's a drive signature. It's a, it's a dragon. It's a nuke? It's an explosion. I said nuke before. It's a dragon. That's a, That's a... That's the dragon's breath. Why is it expanding this? really fast? What do you mean?! <laughs> I hate when you do this. I hate I hate it. No, I'm not watching anything else. We're watching The Expanse. <laughs> I said this is going to happen. All right. Hey, guys. We're back for our discussion after doing some writing on our whiteboard. So, to begin our discussion, number one thing to start with, we could talk about the Marco Inaros shuttle to start with that he said he chopped up and sold. You know, split up. He can't, you know, there's nothing he could do about that. The reason was... Potentially, it was either the drive or the shuttle itself was repurposed as something to send towards Earth. Which is a good thing to notice. Mm -hmm. Also, seems like they did that pretty fast. Yes. So my my yeah. addition to this is now, it says Marco, uh, you know, Marco come causes an incident with the innards to keep his profits up. The ship was sent by Marcos at the early warning system, obviously. So, you know, was he trying to cause a war? Was he trying to say, you know, because they said there was civilians and children on there, was that the original message sent out by the ship to Marco when he raided it and he was just replaying it? And then he's going to use that as bait to say Inners killed a Belter civilian ship, you know, blah, 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 wartime, and thus radicalize more. But, but does him sending it at the target he sent it at bode that it was for profit? No, no. Yeah. It was for politically motivated. He like they said, the like, early warning system. Well, no, but that, that's how he profits, though. Is he, but he you only do that if you're trying to do some shenanigans. If you're trying well, to a, do a preemptive strike. Well, he's a war profiteer. We know that because pirates are war profiteers. They, they yeah, profit sure. from, you know, he would not profit if there's peace as well because the Belters would be hunting him down and they know how to get him better than, you know, Earthers, obviously, and whatnot. Like we saw that the four Belter heads or whatever captured him. Um, So. I've amended my statement from Marco becomes big problem to Marco becomes bigger problem. <laughs> Marco becomes bigger problem. That's what he just said. Yeah. I mean, he didn't. So he thinks he's going to become a bigger problem. Well, before but, I thought he would just be a rabble rouser. Now he's like doing Mao stuff. Do you think he's working with the politician on Earth? Do I think he's working with Gao? No. Not directly. Like, I don't think they have open communication. There but might be, like, an intermediary that is, like, whispering things in ears, I, only, but... Only reason why I think that is because, you know, he is trying to also visit the, you know, belt. He wants to visit the planets, too. He wants to, you know, have... He also doesn't like he inners. Clearly, I was just gonna say that. He seems doesn't. like he has a deep-rooted hatred. That's what I'm saying. Him. Like, maybe if there's, like, a new... Another... Uh, Fred Johnson or Dawes that he works for that 
is then well, also probably... talking to someone who has Gao in their pocket, maybe. But I don't think Marco and Gao are yeah, like working I, hand in hand. I think that's my tinfoil hat for this season was that one. But uh, beyond that, I really think you know he is a bad guy who's trying to cause the peace to break up. And we're gonna find out his son is probably helping him. Naomi's son, Philippe, Philip, whatever they, whatever you say it. I'm um, sorry, Philippe, Philippe, Phil. The next thing that we discussed was the islands. Yeah, I'm going to go with, um, and this one's actually mm -hmm. probably the most detailed of all of my theories on this whiteboard. Uh, the islands are storage depots for the lithium or lithium products. And uh, the explosion is directly due to them overheating and going kaboom. My island is just, he, he kind of, mine just has the, the heat sinks to islands, kind of like how a computer has heat sinks and most you know, electronics have heat sinks. Islands or heat sinks, what better way to cool off the product? No! <laughs> I can't say anything. Uh, uh, you know, what better way to cool off what's happening than by clearly putting them in water? Clearly, the islands are nothing but dragon farts. Blow off vials. The, yeah. yeah, the space or, dragons boom, are farting. Boom, 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 boom. And the heat sink is for the factory of producing stuff. I don't know. But uh, we have a very standoff episode as the Belters do not want to leave Ilum, uh, Illus. Illus. I keep saying Ilum because I think it's part of the... Illus, New Terra. Ilum is a... That investment. one place. Um, but they don't want to leave, obviously, because... No, the dragons are. They have nowhere else to go. Whereas, Murtry, the only peaceful way anything's going to happen with him is if he can peacefully remove the Belters off the planet. So there's no peaceful way. Yes. Yep. So there's no peace for him in this situation. He... Because he believes that because he is a charter, this is his planet, and that everybody else should be kicked off. He really should have just split the planet down. Well, let's just put it this way, though. He leaves. All Holden did was tell them something bad was going to happen again. And they all nothing said, had happened which, yet. Which we'll talk oh, about. Get but crazy. the episode <laughs> ended with something, something bad, bad happening. happening. An explosion. So, which What's the explosion caused by? Space dragons. How big is the explosion? Space dragon size. Uh, well, first of all, you could see it from space, and at the rate at which it was expanding, it seems pretty bad. It seems like yeah. a nuke. It seems like a Boom. nuke. But, you know, what caused it, we still don't know. Do you, Mike? Uh, clearly the proto molecule. Yeah, you're right. Um, we saw what happens when... <laughs> well, Miller's just flipping switches, you know, like he, <laughs> he really so is. accurately said. <laughs> Flipping switches, seeing what lights turn on. Oh, he that turned the brake. Dick bastard. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. They talked about this. Yeah, it was that first. The time. refrigerator. Yeah. I had it off. I turned it on and it's caught fire. They literally turned it on and it caught fire and blew up. Oh, shit. It's, oh. It's a refrigerator. <laughs> uh, I'm storage. A college dorm refrigerator. <laughs> oh, no less. The islands are storage depots and that you turn them back on. The lithium that was there was not properly warmed up. And it was rusty, or you know, it was so it kaboom, it went kaboom. The magic smoke got out. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like that theory. Okay. Um, College Fel storm. Felsia. They just keep telling us stuff, and we don't know. Fel Felsia, yeah, they really do, they, dude. They really <laughs> do. They, remember, you go into a room like fast, and it eats. You know, doors and corners, kid. You got to watch those doors and corners. That was season two, episode two or three. That was season one when he no. first said it. Yeah, you do, because he said it to uh, and, the the Belcher kid. Any, any bird that we saw after he left uh, uh, this first station was was the proto molecule. By the way. Any bird that we saw after the first season, even that bird was potentially the proto molecule. So you're saying birds aren't real? No, I'm saying that no matter what, this entire time. No, he's saying that they're the proto molecule. I'm saying that which is real. So I'm saying that time, time isn't a relevant thing to the proto molecule. So it was communicating with Miller since the first episode, and we just never noticed. It was trying to get what? him to do what he wanted to do. All right, hold on. Let's go back to this episode because I don't. That's too much for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with that's that. My theory. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's true. Uh, but you know, back to this episode. Felsia, the little, the girl's missing. Where could she be? College. Yeah, you're right. She probably joined Naomi on the ship, and she's just hiding. She's the one that plugged the fridge back a, in. She would be a stowaway <laughs> on the ship. Yeah, you're right. Hey, man. First thing they teach you is unplug it and plug it back in and see what happens. <laughs> um, it works so much more often than you would fucking think. Did um, you know, it, we just had you know a very Emotional episode without that is a good point. On. I feel like Felsia being missing is actually a big deal, and that it's going to be relevant later on. She might, she might be a stowaway, or maybe she got kidnapped, or maybe she's hiding doing something. You don't know, but she may have also potentially, you know, just wandered off to go find out. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go see the sites. The sites. 
Now, we did learn that the scientists, a lot of the scientists, we learned even, you know, confirmation that a lot of the scientists that are from the RCE, even though Murtry is, you know, chief security and whatnot, they do not answer to him directly for the most part, or do they respect him? They are there specifically to do their sciency jobs and get sciency information. Well, yeah, because wasn't Murtry just like head of security? Yeah, but when he became yeah, when the, and like his, the his superior got like blown up. Yeah, but then he becomes in charge when that person right. dies, and he's like, "I need some three D information." You know, I need, I need you guys to follow. Like last episode, he's like, "I need you to follow Naomi and you know, I forgot that girl's name, Lucia." And he, they were like, "Oh, sorry, we're going on the dark side for the next twelve hours. Have fun, bye." <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> you know, and it goes to show in this episode again. The scientists, the science crew, was asking for the, you know, the Rosinante's data. They really are here just to learn and find out. They, they couldn't care less if they were sharing it with the Belters. Well, but the security force, you know, and Murtry, Murphy, he's the one that cares about the legality of the Charter so much that he's like, this is my planet. I really love the female scientist, by the way. What I her forget name? her name. Dr. Okibe? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Uh, is hysterical because every time Holden's like, she's like, dude, just fucking be honest. Tell me. It's like, oh, it'd be a long story. She's like, Jesus Christ, man. It's just, Literally, Jesus Christ. Come on, man. <laughs> and even when he's trying to be honest, she's like, this guy's such a fucking piece of shit. Why can't he just tell us the truth? <laughs> she just thinks he's like making it all up. And she's like, oh, so divisions. Like, oh, like great. Oh, so vision told you. I like how if you're not a part of the main crew and you don't know a lot about the proto molecule, like, you know, Ava Sarala does, as well as, you know, Fred Johnson and whatnot, you don't really believe that, you know. Ava Sarala believes James Holden. And yeah. she. But the people who are. <laughs> The, the people who are new to the season, like, you know, the new characters who don't know James Holden that well, are like, yeah, sure, the ghosts are talking to you, but Alva Sarala knows, you know, everything. Ghosts are talking to him. Ghosts are talking to him. <laughs> but, you know, it's crazy. Now, I really am curious what will happen between, the you know, the politics. Because the Earth politics is starting to get a little interesting as Alva Sarala is going for her. Alva Sarala is not going down. And we She's going to win. Well, I mean, I think if it's kind of leading towards that, she... Is gonna lose, I think. Ah. But, but my main thing is, it was you're gonna tell me she's not gonna pull off an 11 hour upset. Okay, okay. Let's think about it this way. It's true. She did. What? She what? What? Or what is the number one differentiating factor between the two candidates? Well, colonizing. Yeah. What? Well, well, colonizing and proceeding with very serious caution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Depending on what happens, yeah. perhaps on the planet. Yeah. I also, I want to just aside real quick. We never really, they never went into detail about Avasarala's background, but they, she was like Gal pointed out, she's literally like political aristocracy. Is her dad? She literally, this, that was her it's first her entire life. Yeah. yeah. Which we got like kind of alluded to as she was like the third in line for the UN. So she was like super important, but never had to do anything for it. Like in terms of like, it's all smoke campaign. and mirrors. But of. like, she literally was just, it seems like appointed. And, like, kind of just rose up off of merit big, from that. Big thing for me, too, was we were like, oh, gal, we're going to get her. She, she got, you know, she's cheated. She skipped a line. Well, she just, when she shipped, skipped a line, she also created Brought a in job. people with so her, yeah. She kind of, you know, she flipped the script there, which is why she was so happy about that. Yeah. Um, she was ready for You know, it. which, okay, I guess, that, you know, one job creating three jobs in the end is a big thing. More than Ava Sarala did well, with her it, appointment. It is. It is. It really is. But, but what about my grain allotments? But at the same time, <laughs> you know, it it is interesting because the same system that she used, she wants to kind of get rid of. But what is the alternative? To, she wants to send people out of the system. She wants to literally give the jobs to people by sending them out. Well, would, it's an infinite amount of new jobs. Now, what, what would you do, though? <laughs> would you Would you prefer literally. to live in, on unemployment, which seems like, you know, you can live. It seems like most people are upset being. No, dude, basic. I literally if if I was there, I would already have my colony ship ready with cows, mm -hmm. horses. I'd be wearing a cowboy hat. I'd have the boots. I'd have there two six no shooters. Boy, I would be so see. ready to, <laughs> to live out Firefly on the new planet. <laughs> Anyways, I'm the sheriff around these here parts. A new hope town. Are you guys good? James, no, it's Jamestown, obviously. Anyway, sorry. Jamestown. Jamestown. Sorry, that was my only impact. No, I, I, I just keep feeling like I can't sail. I got to be careful. It's okay. We'll get to a part where you can start giving theories soon. Um, I don't think I have anything else to talk about for this episode. Do you? I want my space dragons. You want space dragons. <laughs> That's about it. Here there be dragons. But uh, only one way for us to find out where the dragons are. And that is for us to keep watching. 
which we will do. Now, for you who are at home, we do appreciate your viewing experience. You know, hopefully we can improve it in any way. So make sure you do like the video. Let us know below what we can do to improve what's going on for you. Or let us know what you like behind the scenes, you know, with the board or what's happening on the screen. Like, you know, any of our reactions or any of our discussion moments. If anything we can do, once again, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. I'm Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. Bye. Bye. Toodaloo.